Hi everyone, Erin Sally with the City of Markham and we're very excited, we have a very special guest with us here today. Felicia George is here, we're so happy to have you, thanks for coming in. Thank you guys for having me. So you're fresh off the plane, mm -hmm. back from Pyeongchang, mm -hmm. tell us how it feels to be back in Markham, how has the reception been like for you? It's been amazing, um, you know the homecoming has been so great, I feel like all of Canada, especially Markham was really supporting me and it feels great to know you put in all this work but also to know you have a whole city, a whole country supporting you behind you and you know I think it just helps you know to inspire us even more to want to go out there and work hard. Yeah, absolutely. So this was a lot of firsts for you. This is yeah. your first time competing at the Winter Olympics. Yep. Uh, first time competing in bobsleigh. Yeah. And this is your first Olympic medal. Yes. So yeah. how does that sink <laughs> into you? Like at what point do you feel like, oh my gosh, this is all happening right now? Yeah, I mean, I still almost feel like everything's kind of like a whirlwind. Like it's all happened so fast. Um, but I'm excited about it. Um, just, you know, Maybe the next few weeks, everything will just kind of sink in. It just seems so surreal. Um, but it's been a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of years being put in. Um, the fact I went to competed in London and Rio before. So it's been years of, you know, working for this. And so it's just really exciting to finally see, you know, get a medal. And yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure you celebrated. So how did you celebrate after the win? <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit in, in Canada House? How did you kind of celebrate the win? Yeah, we um, all went to Canada House, which is really amazing because the COC had a celebration for us there and, you know, family and friends were there to support us and you know cheer us on um, and then they had the Arkells playing uh, one night yes. as well so it was just really nice Canada House is an awesome space that they had for you know where you, it almost felt like a little piece of Canada in, in South Korea so it, it was really nice to be there and, and have Canadians just really cheer you on. That's amazing and in Markham we're very lucky we have a lot of talented athletes some yes, of them are do. up and comers um, so what advice would you give to some of our young athletes to pursue their dreams their careers in sport and just to stay focused on their goals? Yeah I mean I think the biggest thing is understanding that while it's it's not an easy uh, path, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and there's going to be sacrifices that you're going to have to make. Um, but staying focused on yourself, um, staying focused on your goals, and remaining dedicated to that. Right, great. And so what can we expect next from you? Are we going to see you in Beijing in 2022? <laughs> are you going to be in a bobsleigh again? What are we, what's next for you? Well, first things first, there's a Summer Olympics coming up. So yes. Tokyo, so I am still running track. So I want to make my fourth Olympic team um, compete in Tokyo. Um, get a summer Olympic medal um, and then from there you know why not complete the full Asian tour and do South Korea, Tokyo and Beijing in 2022. Amazing so yeah. a lot of expectations for you we'll be sure to stay tuned and yeah. watch as you uh, <laughs> continue in your career but thank you for for being here and representing Markham so well we're all very proud. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs>